Hey everybody, Karthik Subramaniam over at Adi Schools. Welcome to our podcast. I wanted to talk about something today because I was with one of uh, the real estate agents that works in our office and we were setting some goals and he was telling me about how much money he wants to make and the dollar amount was $60,000. And he's been in the business about four months. We're trying to sit, we're doing a little mid-year review. And I asked him, if you can make 60,000, why can't you make 100,000? And we started to talk about maybe why he had some of these limiting beliefs about what was possible and what he could achieve. And the conversation turned to a few things that are materialistic, materialistic goals that he wanted to achieve. We're talking about the kind of house he wants to get and the kind of car he wants to get. And it was a very interesting discussion because there was almost a sense of uncomfortableness in him as he was describing the cars that he wanted. And there was almost a sense of uncomfortableness in him as I went over with him what was possible and maybe what was not possible. And as I was pushing him a little bit to reach a little higher, if you want to make 60,000, why not make 100,000? If you want a certain brand new Ford, why not a little bit of a, of a better car? If you want to save a certain amount of money, why not save even more money? If you want to donate a certain amount of money to charity, why not donate a little more money to charity? Anything that we believe is possible, there's still a little more juice in that lemon. And as we were looking at some homes on the MLS, as he wanted to set some goals for himself, something very interesting happened when I looked him dead in the eye and I said, why can't you buy that home? Why can't you get that car? Whether it's a car or a home or a girl, why can't you have the girl of your dreams? Why can't you have the man of your dreams if, if that's your particular persuasion? The point is, is that someone's gonna buy that house, someone's gonna buy that car, someone's gonna get that man or woman why can't it be you so really i wanted to share something with you as a lot of our students are doing mid-year reviews now for their business they're reviewing the last six months and they're looking forward to the next six months and i recorded a video about this last year around the same time last year actually about how generally november and december can be a little slower for the real estate agent and if November and December are gonna be a little slower, we're already basically halfway through June. You got July, August, September, and October. That's four more months, plus whatever's left in June. And the last eight weeks with Thanksgiving, Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, whatever you celebrate, a lot of real estate agents shut down for November and December. So really, I just wanted to share something with you. I titled this podcast, Why Not You? Why can't you be the number one real estate agent in your office? Why can't you achieve the income that you want to achieve? So I don't really do podcasts like this too much. The only reason I'm doing this today is because that conversation with that agent affected me dramatically, where it seems like we all get to a certain point where we feel comfortable and anything that's beyond that, we start to pull back. Maybe if you're comfortable having a certain amount of money in your bank account, if that money gets a little more than you thought, you might go blow it so you're down to where you feel comfortable. If your bank account is a little, now that might seem ridiculous by the way, that why would you want to blow money to reduce the amount in your savings? You'd be surprised. A lot of people are only comfortable at some level, but I would encourage you to try to push past those boundaries, push past those mental barriers, and try to achieve even more in this next six months in 2018. I feel particularly strong about this because if you believe a real estate recession is imminent, or if you think the next 12 to 24 months are going to be slower for the real estate business than it's been over the last three years, meaning property takes longer to sell, interest rates rise, inventory rises, now's the time to hustle and make money. There's no sense waiting for the market to deteriorate before you kick it into high gear. Try your level best over the next couple of months for the summer as the inventory is low and properties sell quick, rates are still low, and take advantage of the good fortune that you have 
with a real estate market that's the best it's been in a long time. Anyway, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'd love to connect with you. If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to the channel and we'll catch you on the next one.